Hi Tappers, today I want to answer a question that was recently posed to me because I felt like it's beneficial for everyone. And that is, is it okay to tap on something that is already deeply overwhelming? Will it be re-traumatizing or more traumatizing to try and address it while it's still so heavy and raw? And the answer here is there are ways, but you do want to be very respectful and very cautious with it. The whole intention of clinical EFT is to empower the person who is trying to work on releasing and coming at them with something that's going to intensify what they're feeling, not empowering. So the way we do that first is if they're already in an emotional state where they're crying, um, they're already kind of lost, they're having trouble speaking, you just tap and you don't say anything because their brain is already processing so much. We just want to include another signal for the brain to consider and go, oh, but what's happening right this second? Right, oh, right this second, this second, this second. Okay, this second, we're actually okay. The second, we're okay. The second is fine. So that it can start to calm down that response of whatever it was even if you're still intensely in the moment of grief or in the moment of pain or fear or whatever emotion it is that's overwhelming for you. So as you're tapping and then you reach a point where you can speak and let's say you're still not at a point where you wanna talk about it, you still can't bring it up, okay? So then you can just talk about the current moment, okay? I'm sitting here and I'm tapping I'm sitting in my room with my legs crossed, with my right leg over my left leg, with my foot on the ground. It's pointing out straight in front of me. I am tapping on my left hand with my right fingertips. This is just another layer to engage that relaxation that's already starting to happen. Once you do that, and maybe you're feeling kind of bored with it, you know, you're like, ah, I'm done with listing things that I'm doing or looking at, still don't go head on to what's traumatizing. Instead, you can start some even though sentences, okay? Even though I'm a little nervous to get into tapping on something right now, I'm okay. Even though Right now, I don't want to face what's so overwhelming. I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though right now, I just want to be anywhere else than present with my emotions, I deeply and completely accept myself anyway. Okay? You're saying, yeah, this is the space where I am and it's okay. I don't want to talk about it, it's okay. I don't want to address it, it's okay. I want to dissociate, perfect. I give myself permission to. I give myself permission to never talk about it. I give myself permission to shove it to the deepest, darkest corner of my soul and leave it there and never look at it again. I give myself permission to do whatever it is that I have to do emotionally right now to feel okay. It's okay for me to do that. I do not have to face this right now. I do not have to process anything. And Sometimes there's a fear in saying that because it feels like, oh no, I'm giving myself permission to engage in something that's not going to be healthy for me. Okay, if that were something that you did for the rest of your life, that's true. It, it wouldn't be a healthy choice. But if you're already having those thoughts and those concerns, you're unlikely to be someone who's really going to do that. And maybe you just need that relief right this second to give yourself that space of, but I can make that choice right now. I can reverse it. I can look at it in a month, in a week, tomorrow. Uh, but right now, shut behind the door and locking it down and putting cement over it and shipping it off to Mars. Uh, whatever it is that allows you to feel like you are in control again of the situation, of your overwhelming emotions. You know what? I don't have to deal with you. There's this great thing called dissociation that I can engage in for the rest of my life. When you start to feel like you have empowerment over what it is that you're feeling again, then you can say, and right now I need that space because I finally feel like I can rest and it's okay. I can go back to it whenever I want to and I can be done with tapping for now. And if that's where you need to leave it, great. 
if you do feel like, okay, now I can address it 1%, I will tap on 1% of it right now. But bring it back in little tiny increments. And there's multiple um, clinical EFT techniques wrapped into what I just described. I'm not gonna go through them all because that's not the point of this video. I just wanna give you some examples of this is what you can do. And you absolutely never force yourself to look at anything um, that feels overwhelming because that's giving the wrong signal to the brain. We're trying to collaborate, right? And if someone's freaking out and we're going, hey, 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 come on, hey, that's not collaboration. You know, if it's freaking out and we go, hey, you know what, it's okay. It's okay. We're just gonna we're just gonna put it down. We're just gonna lay it down. Um, it feels much nicer, and that's where you're gonna find that peace and that calm and that empowerment that you're looking for when you're doing tapping. I hope this helps. I'll see you soon.